A down-ballot candidate from the right throws a wrench into the Indiana governor's race. Associated Press Republican U.S. Mike Braun's bid to become governor of Indiana seemed fairly straightforward until he got the run-in. Gee mate he didn't want. A pastor and self-proclaimed Christian nationalist who finessed his way onto next month's ballot. Micah Beckwith, a podcaster from the Indianapolis suburb of Noblesville, where he leads Life Church, secured enough delegate support to upend the lieutenant governor nomination process at this year's state GOP convention and become bronze running mate. Below are your comments. I'm 66, retired and I live in Indiana and will be voting my first straight ticket this year. The entire GOP has lost its collective mind. Way too much moving backwards. Indiana still classifies marijuana as a drug equal to narcotics. Putting more strain on the prisons. The state won't even consider looking at changing it. Our roads are falling apart. Property taxes are getting crazy. We have one of the highest sales taxes at 7%. Dot. The biggest problem these far-right candidates have is themselves. Their extremism is an obstacle to election. The GQP has run Indiana for so long that it theoretically should be able to run on whatever its ACO. Emplishments are. But, nope, gotta make gas stoves a culture war issue. Left Indiana 30 years ago and haven't regretted. It for a moment. I lost respect for Mike Braun when I contacted his office to request that he vote the evidence in TH. E. Trump impeachment. He said he would not because a majority of Hoosiers voted for Trump in the 2016 election. To me that is a dereliction of duty. Come on, Indiana, you can do it. Voting blue in this election will not hurt you at all. It will actually give you some better representation. I drove across Indiana and through several neighborhoods in Indianapolis this week and saw almost N. O. Trump signs. I hope that was a good sign. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.